How's it going everybody? My name is John Hammond. In this video, I want to tackle the Agent Pseudo Room from TryHackMe. So let's jump on over to my screen. I will go ahead and I am joined in the room here. So let's go and deploy the machine. Let that spin up. It says, welcome to another THM exclusive CTF room. Your task is simple. Capture the flags just like any other CTF room. Have fun. If you're stuck inside the black hole, post in the form or ask the TryHackMe Discord. Okay, we need to deploy the machine. Looks like we've done that. I have the IP address here, so I'm gonna go fire up my terminal here. I'll get into my CTF try hack me directory and I will sudo open VPN my account. So I am connected to their network. This is a free room, so you should be able to access it without being subscribed. I'm using my account that is not subscribed and I'll make a directory here for agent sudo. Hop over there and I'll create a simple readme so we have a place to store our notes. I'll also clear out some of all my other stuff from previous recordings. We don't need those, but let's go ahead and add this stuff in here. And I'll export my IP address as what it has given us so we have that as a variable we can access within our shell. Great, we have deployed the machine. Let's see if it's hit up already. I guess still taking some time. No matter. Numerate, how many ports are open on the machine. Okay, so it looks like we'll go ahead and run nmap once he's up and available. I am still connected to him just fine, right? Yep. All right, I'll stand by until I can see pings. Okay, it looks like he is uh, up and running now, so let's go ahead and make an nmap directory. I will nmap tac sc, tac sv, that's fine, I needed to do that anyway. It's really hard to type <laughs> with a microphone in the way. Tac on nmap initial, and let's do my IP address. Let's make this verbose so I can see really what it's doing if it finds any ports. 21, 80, and 22, okay? Good to know. So if 80 is open, then we can go poke around with it on the website, and I'll do our basic enumeration here. Um, are those the only three ports that we have to work with? It looks like it. So let's say there are three open ports. That is the correct answer. How do you redirect yourself to a secret page? Well, we have this IP address, so let's go check it out in the web browser here. It says, dear agents, use your own code name as a user agent to access the site from agent R. Okay, looks like that's literally all that is in the page here. Um, let's go ahead and nikto this. HTTP, this guy, get him spun up. Uh, I guess I'll also run a little Durbuster for good measure, just because, hey, opt directory and the URL should be this guy. Let's go look for extensions, PHP, SH, HTML, JavaScript, CSS, Python, CGI, blah, blah, blah. Let's see if that gets any hits. And while that's scanning, we can kind of read what we should really be doing here. Use your own code name as a user agent to access the site from agent R. So I'm assuming the code name is referring to agent and then some letter, I guess. So, um, did I do that wrong? Or no, I guess I just didn't care, whatever. Let's go ahead and try that technique then. So let's curl that page use your own username or use your secret agent name. So let's go ahead and supply a header with curl. I'll say uh, user agent can be agent like A, right? That returns nothing. User name agent B, that returns nothing different. Username C, code name as a user agent. Should it be like lowercase? I wish it would tell me. Agent A without a space or something, agent B. Use your own code name to get user access to the site. Are there any other links that I'm supposed to be accessing? I wish I knew. Agent, lowercase agent A, agent B, agent C. Mm, maybe it's just the letters themselves. This is taking some time to respond. I feel like I'm just like hammering the box on accident. <laughs> User agent A, like the letter itself. Why is it taking so long? Is the page still there? Is the site still up? Come on, agent pseudo. 
All right, I guess I'll pause until that returns. Okay, I went ahead and stopped Neato because maybe that was beating it up. And if I'm using user agent A, user agent B, user agent C, all these, I could write a script to brute force these, but that question is asking, how do you redirect yourself to a secret page? Oh, oh, if it's getting a redirect, then I guess I should probably include the user agent tac, oh, like tac L and curl so it redirects things. Maybe I was wrong all along throughout all that. User agent B, and now for following redirects, user agent C. Oh, okay, cool. Now we got a result. A attention, Chris. Do you still remember our deal? Please tell agent J about our stuff ASAP. Also change your dang password. It's weak from agent R. So Chris looks like a potential username. If that is the redirect we've been using, I guess that's how we redirect your secret page. Uh, user agent? Is that what we need to submit here? Okay, cool. What is the agent name? Yes, uh, it is Chris, theoretically. That's good. Hash cracking and brute force. Done enumerating the machine. Time to brute your way out. Oh, okay. So it looks like it needs an FTP password. So if we know our username is Chris from this here, that was kind of a strange way to figure that out, but let's go ahead and start with Hydra. So Hydra is great because it'll tell us kind of some syntax here, but we just need a schema there. So Hydra tac L Chris is our name. We'll use opt rock you to go ahead and hammer stuff and let's put it at FTP on the IP address and let that guy go. So uh, I guess I'll pause until we get some hits. Um, I guess we could also actually just try and hammer some of the other services too because um, that account might work just as well on SSH. I should grab the IP address if I'm going to use that. So let's set that up. Hydra, Chris, Rock you, and if that is on all on FTP, can we actually netcat to that? Can I poke around at that netcat interface? So let's netcat, um, or your FTP, I suppose, just to run the client itself over to the IP address. Looks like it's connecting. Um, Chris, I guess we should try like basic baby password. No? Maybe? Gosh, this machine is kind of frustrating to use because it's so slow. I guess I should be on my subscribed account. Um, let me not hammer it. Let's just focus on FTP and see if we get any results. I guess I'll just pause until something comes back, hopefully. Okay, that finally came back. Looks like we have login credentials, Chris and Crystal. So let's, uh, let's take note of that. Uh, while it was paused, I was going through and kind of adding in some of the notes that we have thus far. So FTP password, let's uh, just include that as our note here. Grab the syntax, just spit that guy in. I'll call that, let's see that's in bash. Uh, and crystal is the password. Good, I just like to kind of have our notes, I don't know, put together so we have our own reference if we ever go back to this we learn something from this machine. Now let's FTP to that. Let's go ahead and FTP Chris at the IP address. Or I guess we can just go to the IP address and supply Chris as a name. It prob FTP probably has no idea what I'm doing when I, when I say that. Okay. Man. Slow box. And the connection timed out. Are you kidding me? We know what the FTP... We know what the I, I, IP address variable is, right? That's still in the context of this. Please? Holy cow. Make sure you guys are running this from a subscribed account. I don't know why this is taking so long. There we go. Okay. Chris. Crystal. That's our password and everything. Great. What do we have here? Ooh. Okay. Let's get all of these. Can I M get all this? Does that work? Yes. Thanks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How do I support what argument do I supply to mget to download this? At least there's only three of them. That's that's totally fine. Okay, so now we have all of those downloaded. Um, let's actually make an FTP directory and let's move QT cute alien and two agent J into that FTP directory. I probably should have all done that before I did that. Let's go check out what this to Agent J says. All of these alien photos are fake. Agent R stored the real picture inside of your dictionary, your, your directory. What? 
Okay, okay. Your login password is somehow stored in the fake picture. It shouldn't be a problem for you. Which picture? Cute, cute alien. Um, let's go check out these. What are they actually showing us? Cute alien JPEG. That's cute. And qd.png. Okay. So if they're inside of the image, can I like strings all of the JPEG ones? Blah, blah. Nothing seemingly interesting there. How about strings in that PNG image? Oh, he has something inside. Two agent R. We have a two agent J, so there's clearly something in that PNG. Let's um, let's go ahead and bin walk tack E on the QD PNG. He has a zip file in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we extracted that out with binwalk, tack E. Looks like QD PNG extracted has uh, two agent R dot text in there. What, what? Is that empty? That is empty. That's weird. That's a zip file though. Um, let's unzip that 8702 zip file. We need a password? 7Z. Okay, it will replace it. Yeah, yeah, it replace that thing. Oh, it does need a password. Okay, so let's go ahead and run um, zip to John. That should be in the opt John the Ripper run zip to John. Um, run that on our 8702 zip file. Let's redirect that to hashes for john.txt. And now let's run hashes for John with John. Change that command to actually use John the Ripper, not the zip to John script. And we'll supply the word list to opt rockyou.txt. So let's see if we can crack that zip file password. Okay, looks like the password is alien. Good enough. So I use 7-zip to extract that because it didn't seem to behave when I used just regular unzip. So 7-zip this guy, yes, go ahead and re remove stuff or override it. I'll use alien as my password. Looks like that worked. Okay, now 2-agent-r actually has content in it. So let's go see what that says. Agent C, we need you to send the picture to that as soon as possible. That looks strangely like base64 just because of the random capitalization. So let me go ahead and make sure. Okay, that is base64. So that decodes to area 51. We need to send the picture to this as soon as possible. So that must be the other alien, the cutie alien JPEG. And that is a JPEG file. So if we're doing stego techniques, oh, we have some of these things we should fill out. And we kind of have this notion from the prompt, it's probably a steg thing. We can use steg hide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So steg hide syntax is extract and then SF to specify the file that you want to extract out. So that is the cute alien.jpg and our password is area51, capital A. There we go, wrote out the track data to message.txt. So message.txt says, hi James. Ah, glad you found this message. Your login password is hacker rules. Don't ask me where the pa <laughs> password looks cheesy. Ask Agent R to set the password for you, your buddy Chris. Okay, so hacker rules looks to be a password for James. Um, area51 is that answer. The other agent in full name is James, theoretically. And the SSH password is hacker rules. So we submitted all those. All right, now let's go ahead and log into that box, right? Because we saw SSH was open from our Nmap scan. So James to that IP address. Taking its sweet time. Um, while that's going for us, let's go ahead and zip file was alien, area 51. The next one, James and hacker rules. Now task four, what is that asking for? What is the user flag? It should be easy once we go ahead and log in if that ever loads for us. What is that other prompt here? What's the incident of the photo called? What? I don't know what that means. I guess we'll see. Come on, computer. I guess I'll pause. Okay, I started and stopped it, and now it seemed to go through. So, now let's enter the password. Hacker rules, exclamation point. Oh, come on, did I not Did I not have that copied? Please don't, please don't not connect. That is the right password, right? Okay, maybe it did authenticate this time, and now it's going to take its sweet time to give me that connection. <laughs> Lots of pausing in this video. Okay, now he's in. Great. 
So let's ls, we've got our user flag.txt. Great. Go ahead and submit that for our user flag. Submit. Slap that guy in here. What is the incident of the photo called? Okay, so we have this alien autopsy JPEG. I guess we could copy that down, but we could very well just run some regular commands. If the connection would work. Holy cow. Uh, I'm a pause. Okay. Okay. Looks like we're working now. So strings on that guy. We don't have that installed. Okay, I guess we can try some EXIF tool. Do we have EXIF tool accessible to us? No, okay, let's go ahead and try and uh, download that thing then. So let's actually make a directory for SSH. We'll hop over there. Let's SCP James at, let's slap that IP address in. SCP James at IP. Um, and we want alien autopsy dot JPEG. And let's just put it here. So it needs to know that password once it asks for it. There we go. And that should download, hopefully. I don't know if that syntax is gonna think I mean from the root directory. Yep. Okay, let's go from home. James. Let's try that. Paste that password in. Sweet, sweet upload and download time. Sweet, sweet networking. What? Did I just spell it wrong? Home James PWD. Wow, PWD. Home James alien autopsy.jpg. That's what that's called. Alien Autos Tosby. I spelled their typo wrong? <laughs> Autosby. Is that wrong? I feel like that's wrong. <laughs> I feel like it should be autopsy. I'm truly sorry for all of you watching this video. <laughs> I feel like I need to pause every time I interact with the machine whatsoever. There we go, okay. What do we got here? Alien autopsy, oh, cringy, I don't wanna see that, Never mind. Strings, that guy, blah, blah, blah. What is all that at sign in there? At, 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 at. At, 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 at is the uh, name of my Wi-Fi network when I go ahead and create a mobile hotspot. So if you ever see that out there in the world, you'll know it's me. Alien autopsy. Blah, blah, blah. What is this? What is this asking for? Is there anything else that I didn't see in that? Let's go for long strings. Let's go for 10. 8888. A, 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 a. There's some hidden information from like what Photoshop would put in there. What is it actually referring to? Hmm. Alien autopsy. I don't want to look at this image again, but I feel like I have to. Gosh, gosh, that's so bad. Um, let's see if it's a thing. Google image search. So Google image search reverse. Reverse image search. Google image search. That gives me, there we go. Google image. Um, let's just grab this file and directory. Let's drag it there. Let's see what we have. Roswell UFO incident. Oh, gee goodness. I don't like those pictures, man. Roswell UFO incident. That looks like Army reveals flying disc. That's not the amount of letters that it needs. What else do we got? Smithsonian, Fox News, Roswell alien footage. Oh, 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 oh. 
Ah, the freaking picture. Get out of my life. <laughs> Roswell alien footage. Does that work? No. Did I spell it wrong? I guess I'll just look at this picture more. Get out of here, Fox News. Alien autopsy. Oh, oh, it's autopsy. Footage is just something that I read in the URL and got freaked out. So, alien autopsy. Autopsy. Spelled correctly. There we go. Okay, I hate those. Th that's not, like, a question. Enough with the extraordinary stuff. Let's get real. CVE number for escalation. Ah, okay, let's do some things now. So, um, we're on the box. Let's go ahead and actually put linpeas in there. So I'm going to SCP uh, my own op linpeas to James at the IP address. Do I have IP? Is it a thing? Yeah, okay. Um, let's go ahead and put it in dev SHM, just because that's a good place to hide stuff. Shared memory. Typically world writable. Typically world readable. There he goes. Okay, so back in the box now. Let's go ahead and move into dev SHM. Let's mark linpeas as executable. And let's let him go. Okay. My user can pseudo things. That's good. Good to know. Root is the one that we need, but we are in the pseudo group. Authenities, pseudo is in there. Blah, blah, blah. Some things are running. Okay. Trying to go from the top. Pseudo version is kind of old. Good stuff in there. GCC is installed. Maybe we could do a kernel exploit, throw some dirty cow, maybe. What is that path information? Nothing out of the ordinary. I'll look for the set UID binaries because that seems to be pretty common lately in a lot of the try hack me rooms I've been going through. What is this? Rsync? Blah, blah, blah. What? Pseudo all, no password all? Is that a thing? Can I do that? Because okay, so it has a lot of set UID, but a lot of these look pretty normal. Let's um let's let this run, but let's SSH pass tag P hacker rules SSH James at IP dollar sign IP so we are logged in SSH pass just quick uh, syntax so I can go ahead and actually supply the password on the uh, command line like as an argument. I hope that IP is an actual variable that's set in this case that will log in just fine. But he's still going. Okay, good. Let's see if that pseudo thing is like a thing. Pseudo tag L? Oh, uh, hacker rules, exclamation point. User James may run the following commands on agent pseudo. All not root bin bash. What? Oh, 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 that's, a, that's the CVE, uh, that was a recent pseudo bug. CVE, this thing, this thing. I made a video on it. Caleb and I talked about this. When you specify the user ID of an account that doesn't exist. It's a normal, like a weird misconfiguration, but let's attack you. Is that right? Number one, or number one, bin bash. Uh, what is it? What is that? What is that syntax? Oh, oh, oh. Does it, it doesn't need a space after it? Yeah, okay, that's it, that's that. Now that's 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 that privesk. So um, the bug is if you specify anything other than root, um, it will be searching for the users and you can specify attack you with an account ID or user ID that doesn't exist, like negative one. Um, and that will fail. Uh, and I guess some int overflow thing that will determine that, oh, and it'll, it'll select root um, and then you'll be able to do it. <laughs> um, the CVE information gets a lot more into it, but this is the bug. Uh, and I, and I did a video on it some time ago. You can see that on my channel. Uh, John Hammond pseudo bug. Yeah, this guy under 1.828. So that's cool. 
Get these stupid alien pictures out of my face. <laughs> now that we're root, we own the box, right? So let's go into root. Um, let's cat root dot text. Congratulations on ruining this box. The box is designed for try hack me. There is your flag. Deskel is his name. And that must be the author of the box. That must be the, the box creator. Does it say? It doesn't. Well, okay. So that was that. That was Agent Pseudo. Um, it turns out I was an idiot and I was having a lot of connectivity issues because I had two open, uh, open VPN sessions going from when I recorded earlier and when I've been recording now. So my fault. I'm a failure. Thanks. Thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, that was that. That was, um, that's kind of cool. It was good to get that exposure with that pseudo vulnerability. Um, see that kind of out there in a little exercise and the hacking and the hash cracking in brute force was also kind of neat. So Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press that like button, the comment thing, the subscribe, whatever, all of those YouTube algorithm things. Love to see you guys on Patreon, PayPal, Discord. There's a link in the description. It's an awesome, awesome community full of tons of smart people, way smarter than me. And um, that's that, dude. My face is really white with this light right now. I'm bright. Oh, gosh. I'm an alien. I'm Area 51. Thanks, everybody. Bye. <laughs>